In today's video, I made the newest update of Brookhaven of the Criminal Base. With guns, fast cars, and even a place that only admins can go into. Recently, Brookhaven got us this new house. Where if we click on this mop and go down these secret stairs, we're gonna find the new hidden criminal base. And I say new since we actually had one a few updates ago. But in the auto shop, here we had a mop that opened up the secret passage right here that took us to this old criminal base. If you didn't know that one was just fully removed from the game. That's why I'm here in Roblox Studio for us to create our very own criminal base. Luckily, I still have a copy of the old criminal base they had in the game. We can start by taking the roof off, then these support pillars. This is the vibe we're going for when editing this whole map. Let's start with spawn. These bricks have to be this wine red. The others will be a dark gray. And to match it, we'll be painting a bunch of these trees red as well. We'll copy the criminal symbol from there, because we're gonna place it right in the middle of the arches. Our map is already looking pretty good, but we still have a bit to change. Another thing we gotta deal with is the police station. Let's delete the lettering and the symbol. And of course we'll put the criminal symbol in its place. Now we can start changing all the colors from here, because they'll also have the same colors of the criminal base. Let's grab this invisible sign right here, and write criminal right on it. The colors have to match here also. We can just delete the police sign and change it for this one we made. Just like this symbol. That'll of course become the criminal one. Now in their parking lot, I'll be getting some really fast cars. And of course, they were conquered by the power of the criminals. On the computers, we can get some armed guys. A bunch more on this side. You can see that they ain't joking around. And on the cells, we gotta get some cops. They'll even be with their loyal sniffing companions. Let's reform everything on this helipad. Because we'll get an even better looking one. As well as a brand new helicopter. Now that the police station is done, we can start working on the grocery store. We can start by cleaning everything everything that's in this place. While that's going, you'll be seeing a bunch of comments from the subs passing through your screen. And if you want to show up on videos like these guys, just write carrot in the comments down below. Let's take the grocery text out and get the same criminal one from the station. But what could I put inside this place instead of all this food? I guess we can start by getting some guns for everyone to use. Alongside all these, we even got a portal gun. I kind of want to test this out to see if it works. We got a bunch of these, so why don't I just test them all? This one seems to be pretty regular. It just fires like any other. Now this is the laser gun. Whenever I fire, it shoots out these lasers that can vaporize anyone. But what I really want to test is the portal gun, which is this gigantic gun in my hand. Let me put one right along the police station and another right here. In theory, if we use this portal, we're going to show up on the other one we shot. Look at that. I'm stuck. Oh gosh. Okay, I got out. We got to be careful about this. Floor portals are complicated for a reason. That was kind of weird, but it did work. We're already at the station. Not the police one, but the newest criminal station. Yes, we got a bunch of cool guns in here. I'll also get some morphs in case anyone wants to look like a criminal too. We can't forget to get some police morphs too in case anyone wants to do some cops and robbers. Can't forget to change the outside too, like getting the criminal logo right up here. Delete these other things from the front of it and get that same criminal sign in here too. All we need to change are some of the colors now. There, the new criminal store is in business. With all that done, I think we just need to get some houses in the neighborhoods for our criminals to live in. I think it's good to start with a regular bank. It's important to have one of these if any of our hooligans want to become millionaires. The only hardship is that on the second floor there's tons of lasers, so it's not that easy for them here. I even found a whole other criminal base, where they even have a huge helipad up top. This one I was thinking about putting it right at Town Hall. Let's just delete it all. Can't forget these little things right here. And now we can put our newest criminal base right there. In this garage, we have to get the most fast yeah. and the furious cars we have, which are worth a fortune. Back to the neighborhood, we're gonna get some very rich housing. In this game, Brookhaven has been stolen by criminals, so they would have very luxurious houses. So we'll be getting some huge modern houses with pools and everything. Can't forget about the awesome cars these rich people have. And done! We got a very nice neighborhood with all kinds of riches you would want. Now we can get those same ones and take them to the other neighborhood as well. Just a few other cars for these ones too. And our Brookhaven is starting to look great. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to get some inhabitants in here. And they ain't playing at all. These guys are armed to the teeth. This is criminal Brookhaven. It's in the name that we would have some of these. Here we'll get this whole group of them. And just for the funsies, I'll get some skimmy toilets. It's nothing serious. This is just for me. I can probably imagine that these guys don't want to be friends with anyone. So we'll have to be careful about those. 
Wait, are they fighting the toilets? Dude, they eliminated all of them. Not even these guys can get away from those criminals. We can change Brookhaven School as well. First, by getting the criminal logo right there. Right in the middle there looks good. You may have guesses, but this school is gonna be full of bullies. Guys with muscles, some even with tattoos. Our players are gonna think twice before frequenting this school. Even the hospital won't get away scot-free. Let's take that symbol out and just get the criminal one right there. Inside here, we'll take all these patient beds out and get some beds like these with this guy trying to get out of these chains. Seems like these players became crazy by something I don't know. We'll also get some sick people. Well, this one I'm really not sure what he has. This one's for sure sick. She's totally green. Right at the front desk, we'll get some angry attendants. They don't even like working here. Going away from there for a while, let's change this whole fountain up. We'll get this one, which is just a rich man's fountain. You can clearly see that from how many dollar signs it has. I almost forgot. Here at the bank, we gotta get some thieves. Not only there, but in the clothing store too. Even at Starbucks. Brooks will have one. Of course, some guy would be at the car dealership. Going a bit away from the city, we can get some new boats. Not this yacht. This one has overstayed its welcome. So let me get a few new boys into our lake. On this little island, I'll just delete all these things and get a big treasure test in the middle of it. So we just turn Lake Madison into a pirate's dream. In the middle of this tree, we'll get an admin's only room. On the sides of it, I'll just get some towers of money. Not only that, but some money bags for everyone outside this place. We can even even have a robux symbol so everyone finds it and done now we're done with the map i think we can finally try it out and see if everything is in order just logged into the map and we already got a bunch of players as you can see right here all those people follow my roblox profile so if you want to do just like them go follow my roblox profile it's at nando yt just click the three little dots and then the follow button and you'll be able to do just that and even show up in videos like these guys i need to test these before anyone because there's a lot of guns inside this store. It's very dangerous if everyone already has them. Dude, look at the size of this. It's bigger than me. I can even get some clothes. This prisoner one is cool. Can we? Looks like we can't. Oh, we need to click these. Look at me. I'm a cop now. All right, let's grab these guns as well. The laser one's always good. The portal gun is amazing as well. Why don't we go up to the neighborhoods and test these out on the criminals lurking there? He's already shooting me. Stop it. Take that. Did you see? I just faced vaporize that dude. There he goes away. The laser gun ain't doing much now. Let's see how this big one fares. Take that. You can't survive all these shots. Dude, does it not do damage? That sucks. Guess we can laser him. Oh, I think a sub just vaporized me. Let me get a fast car to get away from some of these crazy subs. Can we work with this one? Yes, we can. I just need to have a quick ride to the store to grab my guns back. Let's grab the laser. Wait, this is the guy that shot me. Get over here, dude. You ain't getting away this time. You'll see what I can do to you. He's trying to shoot me back. Help. Some were caught in the crossfire, but we finally got him. Let me just get the portal gun and these other ones. I'll also get some criminal accessories for myself. It literally got me some glasses and even a bandana. Wait! Oh! I guess it changed to another one now. Alright then! Now that we got this car, we can go up there. Whoa! This is kind of hard to control. This is where we left off last time. You won't get away from me this time. Take that! Did you see that? I got him! Seems like we got a bunch more over here, but they don't even really move. But we can still eliminate them. Guess we can take them all out. Goodbye, dude! And with that, we eradicated all criminals from Brookhaven. So guys, if you want to play this game or just show up on videos from time to time, you'll have to search my Roblox profile at NandoYT. Click the three little dots right there and then the follow button and you'll be golden. You'll be able to do all that I just told you. Now if we go further down, you'll see the official Nando fan group. You can go right inside because it's right here where you'll find all the experiences I've made that are available in case these two. With that, you already know what to do. Just one last thing before finishing this one off. I really want to test the admin only room. Do the money towers do anything? We can't grab anything. What about getting in? Of course we aren't able to get in. Literally everyone that touches it is eliminated. I swear I thought it would do something else. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and comment down below what other kinds of maps you'd like to see next. Make sure to watch one of the videos on screen right now. They can only rob your attention. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for even more Brookhaven maps like this one. Have a good one!